Hey everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today we are making this gorgeous um, get well card um, using some of our pressed petals uh, designer series paper as well as this new fun washi tape. So you might not have noticed this in the catalog um, so I definitely wanted to showcase it for you. Um, it is so fun um, and such a quick and easy way to get a beautiful flower in seconds. So let's go ahead and jump in and start on our project. For our card base I am using a piece of crumb cake. This is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of pear pizzazz that is cut three and three quarters by five. And then I have a piece of this beautiful pressed petals designer series paper. This is cut let's see three and a half by four and three quarters. And so I had this little strip left over, which we're also going to use on the inside of our card. And then I just have a scrap piece of crumb cake that we are going to use for our sentiment label. We are using our nested um, labels, our stitched nested labels, um, to cut um, our piece for the front. And then here is the beautiful washi tape. So this was a com a uh, two-pack washi tape and this is not your standard washi where um, you can see here with this one you know it's a it's a continuous strip of tape these are actually the petals um, to create the flower so there's a hundred petals on here on this roll and it's so fun and so easy to do um, so I can't wait to show you that. We're also going to use one of our Perennial Essence Floral Centers. These are um, an embellishment in the catalog. They're kind of fuzzy. Um, we're going to do that. We're using Mary Merlot for our ink pad. We're going to use our Embossing Buddy, our Silicone Craft Sheet. I will show you why we're using those products. And then I'm getting my sentiment from our Dandelion Wishes, um, sending well wishes your way. We're also going to do a little bit of embossing with our subtle uh, embossing folder. So let's start with that. I'm going to take our card base here and I'm going to open my embossing folder and I'm just going to stick that in there up until that, that score line. Let me grab my big shot or whatever die cutting machine you have. We'll put our Big Shot platform in there. I'm going to set my folder in there with one plate and let's roll this through. Okay, so now you can see we just have that nice soft texture. That is definitely one of my favorite um, embossing folders that we have in the catalog. I could use it on almost every project if I wanted to. Okay, let's switch platforms. We will get our magnetic platform this time and we are going to take our die with our scrap of crumb cake and roll that through. And there we have our nice little label. Okay, now we are done with our big shot. And then I am going to show you, whoops, um, the beautiful paper. So I'm going to grab, here I have some cut pieces already. Um, this is the piece that we are using, which I absolutely love, this pattern. You can see on the back side you almost have like a, a newspaper, um, you know, with little images and then some, some writing gorgeous. Here is another pattern. This one is fun as well. Backside is wood, so that's a great since we we need that kind of background. That's beautiful. This one is fun as well. You can see the burlap and then some script in the back. And I love this one too with the blue. This is blueberry bushel and it just really pops. And again, you have um, a lighter tone here on the back. So very versatile. Um, this is actually a larger piece. This is not of course how it pairs together but you have some pieces you can just cut out to use um, as layers on your card. And then the back side has some musical notes. Have some scraps of that. And then here's another one. 
that has just burlap on the back. So a gorgeous set of paper um, in the catalog if you have not looked at that. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to give my card here a nice crease. I am going to grab my layers. We are going to adhere those together. There we go. Just put this down on the pear pizzazz. I think it just really makes those flowers pop. Hopefully I'm straight. I think so. Okay. Now we will adhere this. to the front. Gorgeous. Okay. All right, and I can even do um, this as well. So we'll take our little label. So we can do our stamping with it on our project. Okay, I'll just lay that down, let's open up our card, and then we're going to take this little strip we have left over, we'll adhere that here to the bottom. Of our card, did I get that off? No, I did okay. All right. Put my glue a little bit over too much that's all right we will just trim that off get that off there okay so we're about there all right so let's grab our silicone sheet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take about i did five petals on my flower and you could really do as many as you'd like i'm going to stick one of those to my sheet. I'm going to grab the other one and I'm just lining up the centers here so I'm really not um, sticking the the backs down although you could because it with your silicone craft sheet you can just lift it up but because we're adhering this to the front of our card we don't want um, the back of those petals to be sticky because we want to have some dimension um, to the flower. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of the stickiness, which is so easy to do. I just love how fast. And there's some glitter um, to this flower as well. I'm sure that's probably hard to see on, on camera. It's got beautiful shine to it. So now that we have that, stuck together. I'm just going to gently peel this up and this is where the embossing buddy comes in. So if you just tap your embossing buddy over the back of this it will take that stickiness away from your flower. Awesome little tip there. Okay so then I'm just going to let's stamp our sentiment first so that we make sure we have space I'm going to open my Mary Merlot. We're going to ink up our sentiment real well. And then we are going to stamp that right here. Beautiful. Okay, now I will bring back in my flower. And now I'm just going to put my glue right in the center of those petals. Because I do want the rest of it to come up. And then I'm going to just press that down right there. Okay, and then let's grab our little uh, center, perennial essence center. Hopefully, I, let me get my little piercer to get the label off. There we go. And then we're just going to drop that right into the center 
Oh, I just love it. I think it is so cute. And then as you saw in, um, when we started the video, I just took um, another bit of our designer series paper and just adhered that to the flap of my Whisper White envelope just so that it coordinates. So you've seen me do that numerous times. You just add a little bit of adhesive, put down the sheet, and then use your snips to trim it out. Um, so I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video and this little tip with this washi tape as well as our silicone mat and our embossing buddy. Um, that is definitely a great way to use um, this on the front of your card. So as always, I thank you for watching. You can find a full supply list in the description of this video. And if you do pick up these supplies in my online store using the host code, I will send you a thank you gift and goodie. Um, so thanks again for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.